Life in Alaska is certainly unlike what you've always imagined. The weirdness of this American state goes beyond the natives' style of dressing you've seen numerous times in movies. From its unusual culture, strange use of certain animals, stunning sceneries, and unconventional native food to ancient history, you could never get bored in Alaska. Right over there. We got a baby breacher right here. Ah, I see him. Everybody better get outside. But behind all of the exciting facts about this large but remote place, there's an odd practice the Alaskan natives have involving their women. Did you know Alaskans lend their women to outsiders around the state and even foreigners? Brace yourself as we take a trip to this remote state and explore the most interesting details about it, both known and unheard of. Alaska, part of the United States, is the biggest state yet the least crowded because it's extremely difficult to live there. Regardless of the living issues, Alaska is an amazing place filled with interesting mysteries and discoveries that catch people's attention when they visit. Situated in the northwest of North America, Alaska is famous for its amazing natural beauty, special animals, and strong Native American culture, with some unusual customs like sharing their women. Its faraway spot and huge areas of land make it a one-of-a-kind spot for explorers and nature fans. The weather in Alaska changes a lot depending on the different areas in the state and what time of year it is. Generally, winters are very long and cold, with temperatures going way below freezing in some areas. During summer, it's cooler, especially inland, hardly ever getting above 20 degrees Celsius. Coastal areas have nicer weather because of the Pacific Ocean. Did you know the name Alaska comes from the Aleutian word Alakshak, which means continent or big land? The Russians gave it this name in the 18th century, and later, when Alaska became a U.S. territory in 1867, the English adopted it. You can reach Alaska by air, sea, or land with big airports like Ted Stevens International in Anchorage. There are also cruises and roads like Glen Highway or Alaska Highway from Canada for traveling around. English is the main language in Alaska, but the state also recognizes Inupiaq and Gwich'in indigenous languages, which are deeply connected to its history and culture. Inupiaq is spoken by the Inupiat people in the Arctic region, while Gwich'in is spoken by the Gwich'in people in the interior. Officially recognizing these languages shows Alaska's dedication to preserving indigenous cultures. People in Alaska, often called Alaskans, have special traditions that make them different from other Americans. Because Alaska is so far away and people live differently there, they have their own special customs and habits. <laughs> One interesting thing they do is celebrate the Frozen Chin Festival in Anchorage. During this event, people try to grow the longest beard without it freezing. It happens in the winter, and shows how tough and funny Alaskans are when dealing with harsh weather. Women in Alaska are also known to be strong and brave like men. They can handle tough conditions and often join in outdoor activities like hunting, fishing, and hiking, breaking traditional ideas about gender roles and showing how strong they are. When it comes to tourists, Alaska has lots of amazing places to visit that amaze people with their natural beauty and differences. One of these places is Denali National Park, where you can find the famous Mount McKinley, the tallest mountain in North America. The park has really beautiful views that lots of tourists take pictures of and it's home to special animals. You can also go hiking and watch nature there. Another cool spot is Tracy Arm Fjord. This huge icy bay is in southeast Alaska and is famous worldwide for its big ice cliffs, icebergs that float and clear water. Many people like to go on boat trips there and watch whales. And we can't forget about the Mendenhall Glacier. It's close to Juneau City and gives amazing views all around, with awesome waterfalls and chances to hike and paddle among the floating ice chunks. We're not done yet. In fact, we're just getting started. Another important thing to understand is that Alaska is one of the best places on Earth to witness the incredible northern lights. In Alaska, these beautiful displays of colorful lights, also known as the Dance of the Spirits, 
occur when particles from the sun collide with the Earth's atmosphere. On clear winter nights in places like Fairbanks, you can see some of the most breathtaking views of this celestial spectacle, with lights swirling in the darkness above. If you visit Alaska during winter, keep in mind that Fairbanks hosts a major event every year called the Ice and Snow Festival. This event attracts people from all over the world. During the festival, artists create impressive sculptures from ice, which are displayed at the Fairbanks Ice Sculpture Park. In addition to the ice sculptures, the festival offers various activities, such as dog sled races, snowmobile competitions, and fireworks shows. If you're considering driving to the festival, you should explore another famous destination in Alaska known as the Dalton Highway, also called the Trans-Alaska Highway. It's one of the most remote and challenging roads in North America. This road spans over 666 kilometers and meanders through deserted and rugged areas, providing stunning views, but also presenting serious challenges for drivers. With rapidly changing weather, rough terrain, and the possibility of encountering animals on the road, traveling on the Dalton Highway offers a unique adventure that tests both driving abilities and a passion for exploration. When it comes to food, Alaska has a delicious range of traditional dishes, many influenced by Eskimo culture and local ingredients. People love dishes like wild salmon, king crab, reindeer, and wild blueberries. One special dish from the Eskimos is called muktuk, made from whale or narwhal skin and fat. This dish is a favorite in many Inuit communities in Alaska and is eaten either raw or lightly cooked. Muktuk is seen as an important source of nutrients and energy in the tough Arctic conditions, valued for its unique taste and texture. It's definitely a one-of-a-kind culinary adventure for those willing to give it a try. The native tribes of Alaska are often known worldwide as Eskimos, a term that has been used historically to describe Arctic indigenous peoples. The word Eskimo is thought to come from the Algonquian term Ayak Amai, which means raw meat eater, but some find this word disrespectful because it was used by colonizers to talk about Arctic indigenous peoples. To show who they really are and to avoid using a hurtful word, many of these people, especially in Canada and Greenland, now use the word Inuit. Inuit is a word in Inuktitut, a language spoken by some Arctic peoples, and it means the people or real people. Using Inuit is seen as a more polite and accurate way to talk about these people and their cultures. How do I say in Inuktitut? Hang on, because we're almost at the most interesting fact about Alaskans, particularly about their women. What fact about the Inuit culture has shocked foreigners the most? The Inuit culture is a big part of what makes Alaska special and known everywhere. Their ways of doing things and what they believe have been passed on from one generation to another for a long time. The Inuit, who are the native people of the Arctic, have a strong bond with the land and nature. They also have spiritual beliefs and practices that guide how they live. One big belief they have is that everything alive is connected and needs each other to stay alive. Because of this, they treat nature with respect and try not to use up too many of its resources. Hunting and fishing are very important for the Inuit. They don't just do it to live, but also because it's a big part of their culture and tradition. It's helped them stay alive in one of the toughest places on Earth. They hunt animals like caribou, polar bears, seals, and others to get food, skins, and things they need to survive in the cold Arctic weather. To hunt and travel, the Inuit and other native people in Alaska use sled dogs. Back during the gold rush, sled dogs were super important for bringing supplies and delivering mail to faraway places in the state. In Alaska today, sled dogs are still a big part of life. When you go there, you can have fun riding on sleds pulled by these amazing dogs. Hey, Jackman! He's a sled dog! There are different types of sled dogs, and one of the most common is the Siberian Husky. 
These huskies look a lot like wolves because they both come from the same ancestors. Besides, these dogs are great at working together and staying loyal, which makes them perfect for pulling sleds over long distances in rough terrain. In Alaska, these Siberian Huskies are almost as important as the people who live there. Now, back to the Inuit. Spirituality is super important in their lives. They follow a special kind of shamanism that focuses on connecting with nature, spirits, and the spiritual world. Traditional rituals and ceremonies, such as drumming and dancing, are used by the Inuit to connect with spirits and ask for their guidance and protection. In the book called The North Alaskan Eskimo, A Study in Ecology and Society, it's mentioned that when someone enters an Eskimo family's home, the owner offers their own wife to spend the night. If the visitor says no, it's seen as rude and might even lead to serious consequences, like death. It's surprising, isn't it? What do you think about this Inuit custom? This strange way of being hospitable to guests applies to anyone, as the Inuit see it as an honor. They offer their wives, but usually it's the women who decide if they want to accept or not. Luckily, Eskimo women are appreciated and honored for all they do, even though how their partners show respect for their sexual freedom might seem weird to us. This unusual way of being kind seems to come from the fact that Eskimo communities are very small. So, these practices help add variety to their relationships and keep their community growing. Now, to the most interesting part. In Inuit tradition, it's common for them to share their wives with visitors who are new to their community. This practice has existed for decades, but it's not just about sharing partners. They also have a weird ritual where they exchange partners, <laughs> but this isn't done casually. It's always for religious reasons and with the guidance of their shaman, who they call Angekop. The Angikok is important in Inuit culture. They're like a connection between the human world and the world of spirits. These shamans have special powers that allow them to talk to spirits and perform rituals and ceremonies. Their main job is to heal people who are sick, tell them what might happen in the future, and keep the community safe. They're highly respected for their wisdom and understanding of spirituality. In the Arctic, shamans are very important for the Eskimos because there are lots of mysteries there. For centuries, explorers and adventurers have been fascinated by many legends of the Inuit. They have a tradition of myths that tell stories about how the world began, how animals were created, and other things about life in the Arctic. But it's not just the Inuit who live there. There are also the Yupik people. They're another important group of indigenous people in Alaska especially in the southwest part of the state. Like the Inuit, the Yupik have been living in the Arctic for a long time and have built up a rich culture and traditions that show how connected they are to the land and sea. They're also known for being really good at hunting, fishing, and carving things out of ivory, and they have lots of colorful festivals and ceremonies too. Inuit and Yupik people have an ancient tradition of making ice houses called igloos to keep themselves warm in the extreme cold. These smart structures are built using snow blocks pressed together, creating a cozy and safe shelter amidst the icy surroundings. Even though many Arctic communities now have modern houses, making igloos is still a big deal for the Inuit and Yupik people. Both of these Eskimo groups are excellent hunters, and one of their main hunting activities is going after bowhead whales. This has been a huge part of their culture for ages. These communities rely on whale meat and blubber for food, and hunting whales is a big deal, both ceremonially and spiritually. Even though there are lots of rules around whale hunting these days, it's still a key part of Eskimos' cultural identity. The Eskimos have a lot of strange and mysterious stories, and you're in for a treat to hear about them. One of the most famous tales is about Sedna, the sea goddess. The Inuit people worship her because they believe she protects all the marine animals and is the source of life in the ocean. They say Sedna lives deep down in the sea and controls how many fish and sea creatures there are. To make sure they have good fishing, the Inuit do special ceremonies and offerings to keep Sedna happy. 
Another interesting story is about the Kalupiluk, which is a water spirit thought to live in the icy Arctic waters. People believe this spirit snatches children who wander too close to the water's edge. The Inuit tell their kids about the Kalupiluk to warn them of the danger of going near the sea. It's like a way of teaching them to stay safe. And of course, we can't talk about Alaska without mentioning the legend of the Yeti, also known as the Snowman. Who or what is the Yeti? And what else makes Alaska unique? Throughout many years, there have been countless reports and tales of mysterious encounters with a strange creature in the immense and isolated areas of Alaska. This has earned Alaska a reputation as one of the top spots on Earth for alleged sightings of this creature. If this mythical beast does indeed exist, as some believe, it's very likely that it has made Alaska its preferred home. The perpetual snowy landscapes of Alaska provide ideal conditions for camouflage, making it easier for such a creature to remain hidden compared to anywhere else on our planet. Despite the lack of scientific confirmation regarding the existence of the Yeti, and then suddenly they came across a set of huge footprints that went away from them down the glacier. Its legend continues to captivate the imagination and curiosity of people in Alaska. For some people, the Yeti is a creature to be feared, surrounded by numerous scary controversies, mysterious stories of attacking people, and unpredictable appearances. But for others, it is an interesting subject of potential adventure. Whether the Yeti is real or merely a product of imagination, its myth adds an extra layer of mystique and excitement to the already captivating history of Alaska. Every single year in Alaska, a high number of salmon embark on an incredible journey from the ocean to the rivers and streams where they lay their eggs. This amazing event, called the Great Salmon Migration, is one of the most breathtaking displays of nature anywhere in the world. It's something truly special that can only be witnessed right here in Alaska. As the salmon make their way upstream, Alaska's rivers burst with life and energy. These fish battle against strong currents and fierce predators to reach the spots where they'll spawn. This massive movement of salmon isn't just important for Alaska itself, it's necessary for the entire ecosystem. Plus, it brings in creatures like bears, bald eagles, and others who rely on salmon as a major source of food. That's not all. Alaska has something else that's special. It's volcanoes. There are more than 130 active ones, making Alaska one of the busiest places for volcanoes on Earth. These volcanoes mostly have a cone shape and steep sides, which makes them look amazing but also scary. When they erupt, they can cause big problems for nearby towns and nature. Lava flows, hot ash clouds, landslides, and poisonous gases can all come out during an eruption. This can put people's lives and homes in danger and mess up the air and water. Even though volcanoes can be risky, they're a natural part of Alaska, just like its stories and myths. Now, how about their fashion style? The way people dress in Alaska is very different from what you're most likely used to seeing in more modernized areas. The fashion of the Alaskans is more peculiar for the native people who have lived there for a very long time. They wear clothes that help them stay warm and protected in the cold weather. One important piece of clothing is called a parka. It's like a big coat with a hood that keeps their bodies warm and shields them from the wind and snow. Parkas are often made from animal skins like seal or caribou, which are really good at keeping the cold out. Underneath their parkas, native Alaskans wear layers of clothes to stay cozy. They might wear thick wool sweaters, long underwear, and pants made from warm materials like fleece or wool. Keeping their bodies insulated helps them stay comfortable when they're outside, even in freezing temperatures. For their feet, they wear sturdy boots that are waterproof and have good grips on the soles to prevent slipping on icy surfaces. These boots are often lined with fur to provide extra warmth and insulation. Keeping their feet warm and dry is super important in Alaska's cold and snowy conditions. Native Alaskans also wear special hats or hoods to cover their heads and ears, which are vulnerable to the cold. 
These hats are often made from fur or wool and have ear flaps to keep their ears warm. Some hats even have strings that tie under the chin to keep them securely in place, especially when it's windy. Apart from keeping warm, traditional clothing in Alaska often reflects the cultural heritage of the native peoples. They might decorate their clothes with intricate beadwork, colorful patterns, or symbols that have special meanings to their community. These decorations help preserve their traditions and identity while also keeping them warm and protected in the harsh Alaskan climate. Which of these facts about Alaska did you know about? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this.